Coronavirus crisis is something that has caused a lot of fear in our community with uncertain times ahead. That's why one religious group in Mobile wants to help bring unity to our area with a simple task can all do. News 5's Gabby Easterwood spoke to that group and joins us now with the latest. That's right, Amber. The, the organizers of this movement hope that a small gesture of just hanging a red ribbon on your home or your business will help spread hope in our community. And when something's out of your control, you can do one of two things. You can panic or you can pray. Fred and Barbara Reddick are the founders of Canopy of Prayer, which started as a prayer movement with a walk and billboards back in 2017 and has since grown into a full nonprofit dedicated to prayer when the community needs it most. When this crisis came upon us, I was trying to figure out what would be our part of the outreach to Canopy of Prayer. And it was like the Lord spoke my heart and said, you used a billboard before, blitz the city with billboards. And that's exactly what Canopy of Prayer did, with more than two dozen billboards up now, asking for red ribbons to be placed on a tree, on your mailbox, front doors, cars, wherever they will be seen as a sign of prayer and love to encourage others. By doing this, you're silently saying, I'm in this with you together. While it may seem like a small gesture, they hope it will make a big impact. We're all in this together, so it's not just about the church. It's about people, and there are people that don't really have hope right now, so we do, we do hope that they will find hope. Now they say if you don't have any red ribbon at your house, definitely look in your Christmas decorations. Or if you don't have uh, any red ribbon at all, they say you can use a red flag, a t-shirt, anything that will show that you are a part of this movement. They also say that people on their Canopy of Prayer Facebook page are giving, giving away ribbons as well. Reporting live in Mobile, I'm Gabby Easterwood, WKRG News 5.